Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs here, and today I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox, a little bit different. If you've followed the uh, YouTube channel for however long I've had it up, you, you know that it's mostly been about beekeeping, or probably that's all it's been about is beekeeping. Well, I want you to know that if, you, if you've never gone to the website, there's more to the Big Daddy Biggs blog than just beekeeping. Uh, I do some of that, but I do some other stuff too. And um, today's going to be my first real vlog that goes beyond beekeeping. And I'm going to dabble into something that I've never, as far as I can remember, never really done before on, on this level. Uh, I'm kind of nervous, and I'm not sure I really want to do this. But if you've gone to the website, you've kind of seen, maybe you've seen that uh, I'm starting to change some of my lifestyle, and uh, part of that is I'm, I'm trying to actually do the keto diet. Uh, I'm 53 years old, and I'm probably in the worst shape I've ever been, and I've, my joints are giving me trouble. Just different things are going on. Uh, the check engine light has come on a couple of times. So I'm wanting to do some things and maybe get my life in better shape, uh, get my body in better shape, and get some of these aches and pains out. Uh, so on top of the keto, if you're following that that blog that I'm doing, uh, on top of the keto, I have decided to uh, I can't I can't do a gym membership. I mean, my occupation that's just not a, a reality for me. I, I I live by the seat of my pants basically. But I wanted to get into doing a little bit of exercise. I wanted to get some equipment, and that's that's what I did. Uh, most of the equipment that we've ever bought in the past, no, not most. All of the equipment that my wife and I have bought in the past has ended up being nothing but a hat rack. And I wanted something that would maybe just kind of fit in a corner, under the couch, under the bed, something like that. And But, but I was able to use it. Um, on a daily basis, easily, quickly. That was one of the keys. Uh, it needed to be a quick workout, and I, I started doing some searching online. Now, I want to try to keep this as short as possible. We're going to unbox something here in a minute, but I want to tell you about the three products that I found. I started looking for compact travel size uh, weightlifting equipment, and I had no idea that resistance bands have become such a huge thing and it's like everybody and their brother is making their own resistance band equipment some of it's pretty high-end uh, nice looking stuff and I'll just be honest with you it started coming up on my my Facebook news feed and a whole lot of it looks like I could have made it in my garage a lot quicker and a lot cheaper so, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I was looking for. Uh, but I also wasn't looking to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on rubber and steel. So, I'm going to tell you about the three that I found that I liked. These are my top three. Top three. Uh, the number three item was probably... I'm going to have to say it was the... Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to think of what it's called. The Gorilla Bow. That's it, the Gorilla Bow. And it looks just like an archer's bow. Um, a real neat concept, resistance bands, but it didn't, after I started looking at their exercise routines, and they were like 30 minutes to an hour, uh, and it looked more aerobic, which may be what I need. I don't really know. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in this field. But it looked more aerobic to me, uh, long extensive workouts and it wasn't something that I was uh, interested in so I passed on that it may be a good thing for you uh, I may even leave some links in the description for it if you want to look at it uh, that number two one was the X bar and I was really impressed with the X bar but I think my main hang up with that was uh, it's, it's still a little pricey it's not bad uh, but it was it was a little pricey. The number one that I liked the most was the 
I don't remember if it's called the X3 or the 3X bar. The guy that developed it, he's a doctor. Uh, I know his, his PhD is in question in a lot of places. And I don't care about all that. Uh, guy seems to know what he's doing, and he's he's actually one of the only uh, promoters of his product that I I saw where the guy was actually fit. You know, he was he was cut, he was ripped, he looked good, and I said, you know, that's the one I want. And then I found the price tag. I think with what I was wanting to do, it was going to be, I think, somewhere in the neighborhood between four and five hundred dollars. Well, that's not what I wanted. I, I and here's the reason. Not I'm not saying that's too expensive. I'm saying I know me. I know my exercise equipment ends up as a hat rack. I'm gonna find the least expensive thing that's closest to that. And it took me days, literally, of looking on Amazon. And and I'm gonna give you an Amazon affiliate link uh, when I after I do this unboxing, or it'll be in the description. And uh, you can kind of go see what I, I purchased and see if it's going to work out for you. But uh, it needed to be cheap the first time. It needed to be inexpensive, but not cheaply made. Uh, so I found this. It doesn't even have a, a real name. We won't really go over that. You can look at the description. But it is, in my, my best estimation, the 3X bar with the resistance bands. And I haven't opened this box at all just got it today we're kind of going to go through it together and i'll give you the price tag at the end or you can look it up it may be on sale by the time you see this video or you know whatever who knows so let's go to the unboxing and let's see what we got in the box all right here's the box and we're going to go ahead and get it opened up um uh, get my knife out here I really liked this. I, I liked the uh, the 3x bar, and I do honestly plan on getting that at a later date when I'm six months into this and <laughs> I see that I'm continuing with my my program, uh, my my workout program, and I've had good results. Uh, I'm sure these bands will eventually break, and when they do, I'll probably instead of replacing these bands, I want to go ahead and get the the upgrade because I really did like it. Uh, I actually liked the guy that developed it, and here we go. You know, first I want to apologize before I go any further. Uh, you may or may not have noticed, but I'm having to do this in my bathroom <laughs> right now. You probably didn't need to know that, but I'm doing this in my bathroom right now. It's late at night, everybody's asleep, and I wanted to kind of get this done before I went to bed. So it's not real fancy packaging. Oh, maybe it is. It says have a nice day. I don't know if that's coming through the camera or not, so I'm going to move the box. And let's get these knots out of the bag. This is a like a vinyl bag. Uh, I guess it would be great for if you take this on the road with you if you're going to be traveling. My job requires sometimes that I travel, uh, probably, probably once a, a week or so, but I don't know that I would need to take it, because I usually come right back home, it's late at night. So this is a, a, like a little nylon tote, it's got the handles on it, it's kind of nice, and it's actually thick, like, you know, heavy canvas. Let's get this open. Voila! So, let's see what we have here. Oh. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm having a difficult time seeing everything. Okay, I think this is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, hook your bands in here. This is for like pull-ups and curls and, and things like that. Okay, this is a this is like a a medium to hard rubber. Uh, these are good heavy but uh, nylon. 
this is this is quality made stuff right here. What I'm seeing so far is, is very high quality, good solid D-rings. Uh, I don't see the weld in them. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but that's almost a, a solid piece right there. More nylon straps. Good quality, it feels like. Uh, there's some Velcro. I'm not sure yet what all of this is for. This is my first time opening it up, so uh, I think the main thing that we want to we want to see is number one, the bar. I don't remember which bar this is. I think it's 29 inches, uh, and me being kind of a, a large guy, I'm wide and probably as wide as I am tall <laughs> but this uh, this bar keeps my hands my arms closer together and tucked into my side which is is uh, according to the doctor that developed the original of this is a necessary thing uh, so that you you can extend out better instead of like you know with your elbows bent anyway here's the bar it's the uh, these swivel, they're on a bearing, they don't come out, I hope they don't. Um, this is good, solid, nice and not too heavy, but it is it is good and solid. It's got the, the diamond, uh, the rough, I think it's called diamond, I'm not sure, but it's, it's rough, it's got good grip on it. More nylon, this is... Some of you probably know what this is. I am not an exercise expert. I have no idea what I'm looking at. But I have one of these. It's kind of a soft rubber. Looks like it might roll or pivot or something. Uh, this is what you put your straps in. I, I'm assuming. And you put this on here. Uh, let's go with these smaller ones first. I got a light flashing on my camera, so I'm thinking my battery may be going out. Doesn't usually do that. Alright. This is the light band, 25 to 65 pounds. Pretty thick. I'm not sure about the quality, but it's... Seems to be... Seems to be pretty good quality. We're just going to undo everything. And I'm sorry, like I said, I'm in my bathroom. And the countertop in here is kind of crowded. So I'm just trying to unbox it. And make sure you get a good look at it. This is uh, 35 to 85 pounds. Still good, thick rubber here. And that, honestly, it feels pretty solid. Instruction booklet. User manual. Has some exercises in it. Okay. Now, what I what I plan to do as far as getting a workout program, I'm, since this is almost exactly like the 3X bar, or X3 bar, I have to look it up. You know what I'm talking about, or you can look it up yourself. But, uh... I plan on using his workout programs because this design is, is actually based on his design. And it's just kind of a knockoff version. Uh, I will be using his exercise program. So, let's see. 50 to 125 pounds. All right. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old man. Leave me alone. That's solid, and I think it's even a little bit thicker. It probably has to be for the resistance that it has. But that's yeah, that's gonna work on my shoulders. I can tell already. All right, trying to speed this up, y'all. Don't want to take all your time. Uh, I also want you to know that I'm probably gonna be. If I don't give up, and I want y'all to hold me accountable, 
and send me an email, give me a phone call or something, and tell me, hey, what's going on? I haven't seen a video this month. Did you quit? Quitter? You can call me a quitter. I don't care. My feelings are not on my sleeve. This one's pretty thick as well. It's it's even thicker. Uh, 65 to 175 pounds. Let's see what I can do here. Mm-hmm. Not a weakling. My goodness. But I am right now, I guess. Okay, here's the empty bag. That's what you get. The uh, price tag on this is $116. Uh, at least it was. Okay, so there you go. We went through all the pieces that were in the bag. And uh, I think, again, I'm not an expert on this stuff. But uh, if you've ever used resistance bands, I think you might agree that this seems to be some pretty good quality stuff. Um, I'm not recommending it yet. Uh, I want you to see my results. And if, you know, the first time I use it, one of these bands snaps and pops me in the face or on the back or whatever, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to tell you if this stuff is, if it's good or if it's junk. Right now, at, the, at this moment of unboxing, I'm, I'm well pleased with my purchase compared to what I could have paid for similar materials. Uh, everything in this, this package looks almost identical to what the X3 bar uh, actually has in its package. The bar is, is only a little bit different, and they, they probably had to do that for, you know, patent reasons or, you know, just to change it up a little bit so they don't get sued. But again, I'm going to be sharing uh, probably one video a month and just kind of let you know my results. Uh, I may actually take some pictures and put on the end of this video uh, of my sexy body. It'll be dressed. It'll be fully clothed, I promise. So just so you can kind of see what's going on with me. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to drop some questions down in the comments. I'm more often on my website than I am on YouTube. Uh, so if it takes me a while to see your comment, just understand that if you leave the comments on my website, I'll just tell you straight up, I'm more likely to see it. I'll get an email notification. I don't get all that stuff with YouTube. Uh, I've got too much clutter in my inbox. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. I know you don't have to be told that. You hear that at the end, in the beginning, in the middle of every video. But smash that like button. We'll see you all later. Have a good day. Bye.